Today, we are at Angel Stadium interviewing outfielder Eric Young Jr. of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Young hits one out to deep right field. Reddick moving back on it at the wall. That is gone. Big fly for EY Jr. I'm Benjamin Royer. I'm Matthew Royer. And, and this, this is Twinger Talk. Thank you, Eric, for staying down with Twinder Talk today. Oh, not a problem. Thank you for having me. Let's get to the first question. Okay, so your dad being a professional MLB baseball player, was there any pressure or or you have to feel that you have to live up to his legacy as a baseball player? Um, at first, I think it was uh, just because I wanted to prove that I was my own man. But uh, as I got older and, you know, I know what I bring to the table, um, you know, it's not so much any more pressure for me now because uh, I'm myself. Over to first, and under the glove of Holiday into right field. Here comes Simmons. Halos have taken a 5-4 lead. Eric Young Jr. with his Besides second. Besides, obviously, your father, who were some of your the baseball players that you look up to in your career? Um, I was a big fan of Ken Griffey Jr. Um, you know, I think he was one of the best to, to roam out there in center field. Um, you know, I got to see various players play over the years, so um, I guess I could say I picked little particular parts of each person's game. Okay. So you played both football and baseball. Why baseball over football? Uh, well, actually, my, in 11th grade, I broke my leg uh, getting hit. So I already knew what, it, what one hit in football could do. Uh, fortunately, I was still able to you know, maintain my speed. And uh, you know, I was like, you know what, baseball has a little more longevity. And uh, it was my, my first love. And that's hit out to our right. That's hit well. Markakis is back. That is gone. EY Jr. Big Fly! When you got a scholarship to play football at Villanova, what made you decide that you would rather play as a, 30, a late round draft pick in the MLB than go and at least fulfill the scholarship there? Um, well, you know, my ultimate dream was to be a professional athlete. So, um, you know, we know how injuries could play a part. And so I wanted to go ahead and uh, take my chances at baseball. And, um, you know, I'll return to get my degree one of these days. Um, and obviously I have the other resources now to go ahead and do that. So um, hindsight looking at it, I think I made the right choice. Cutting it on the boot, back up the middle, hits off of Heller. This is gonna do it, drive home safely. Eric Young Jr. with a walk off. Playing football, do you think there's any skills from football that play into baseball that you learned in football? Um, I think the aggressiveness, um, you know, I seem to make diving plays, so um, kind of used to, you know, banging up on my body. So, um, and then fortunately, I, I never had to run over the catcher, but uh, I think if that play ever occurs, I think my football skills will probably uh, immediately kick in and uh, I'll be ready to, to protect myself. Your dad played a lot of years in the MLB. How has he helped your career going forward? Um, in the beginning, it was, you know, physically, you know, teaching me how to physically get myself ready for a season uh, and mentally now, you know, as I'm getting older, it's more so uh, mentally, you know, keep my mind right, you know, focused on what I need to on the field. And, uh, you know, it's been pretty, pretty helpful throughout the whole. But the biggest thing he's always taught me was just have fun. So he never really put any pressure on me. What are some challenges being brought up and down from the minors and the majors throughout a MLB season? Um, I think just, you know, adjusting to, uh, you know, the lifestyle, I think, uh, you know, in the minor leagues, you know, you kind of play regional throughout the U.S. And then once the MLB season, you're pretty much playing all, all across the country, um, as well as, uh, you know, you're playing in bigger, you know, bigger parks. And but for the main thing is understand that I'm playing baseball no matter where I play and uh, I got to play the same game uh, in the minors or in the majors. When you do get sound, sent down to the minors, do you help the younger players out there learn the game more? Uh, I try to, uh, you know, by one, showing them how I go about my business. Uh, and uh, if they have any questions or uh, I see them in, in the game, you know, struggling a little bit or, uh, you know, I try to talk to them a little bit, make sure they understand that it's baseball and it happens to everybody. And, you know, I've been there. So, uh, you know, try to help players along uh, as an added bonus. He was on the move, the change up misses, the low throw gets away, kicked out toward left and EY will take Third base. So there have been stories on the internet about how you've helped um, Angels prospect 
Michael Hermosillo developed throughout his minor league career. How have you done so? Um, I don't know, just, just being a, you know, a good friend. And uh, I mean, you have to really ask Michael more so uh, how I helped him. But, um, you know, I think uh, just by showing him how I go about my business, um, you know, some of the techniques that I learned uh, along the years, uh, older players teaching me, um, you know, so I can see him grow as well as, you know, a, as a baseball player. So um, I think uh, just seeing him mature and uh, just trying to get him to understand the day, day in and day out grind of a, a professional season. What adjustments have you had to make throughout your career so far? Um, you know, just understanding, uh, you know, it's a long season. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you want to, you know, obviously everybody wants to come out of the gates, you know, with a hot start, but understanding that it's a long season, so you can't get too high on yourself or too low on yourself uh, when things are going good and when things are going bad because, uh, you know, at the end of the season, it, it'll all work itself out. So since joining the Angels, what has your experience been like here? I, I'm having a great time. Uh, you know, I love the organization. Uh, they've been nothing but great to me, and um, you know, hopefully, uh, we ha have a continued relationship. And um, I enjoy my time out here in Anaheim. Uh, one, like I said, we mentioned it earlier that it was one of the best stadiums, uh, uh, even considering it's the fourth oldest. And uh, like I said, I enjoy my time here. Did you feel any pressure coming up to the major leagues to replace Mike Trout when he got injured? Uh, no, no. I think obviously, uh, being an older player. Uh, already having some years on my belt, you know, just understanding that I just have to go out there, play my game, be myself, uh, and, and see see what happens. Uh, uh, fortunately, I was uh, successful at the time, uh, but uh, trying to replace a, a two-time MVP is, is very difficult. And I think once uh, I understood that and just went out there and played my game, uh, it made it easy. Oh, for one, and he'll drive one out toward left field. Gamble, moving back on it at the track at the wall. That is gone. Big fly for Eric Young Jr. A three-run jack, six-nothing Halos. So some fans have been calling you this season's Angels MVP for you to play during the season. How does that make you feel? Uh, for anybody to say that, that that's pretty awesome. Uh, special moment. I'm glad uh, you know a lot of people were appreciative of you know the hard work and, and hustle that I uh, displayed, and uh, that's why I continue to, to work hard and uh, hopefully you know more to come in the future. When you played with the Mets, you became stolen base champion for the National League. Young's on the move. They pitch out. The throw down is not a time. What was it like to have the same honor that your father had years before? Uh, it was pretty cool, uh, knowing that we were the first father and son in MLB history to do so. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, but obviously just from a personal standpoint, just knowing I was the, the best person in my league, uh, you know, ever since a little kid, you always try to be the best one in your league. And, uh, against the players that you're playing against and uh, you know for me to get that honor against my peers uh, was pretty awesome. With the season coming to an end, what are your hopes for the offseason? Uh, just to uh, relax a little bit, uh, let my body recover from, from this season and uh, you know appreciate uh, you know what, what went good this year, also what went bad that way uh, you know you appreciate uh, you know everything that you know the hard work that was put into the whole year and then get ready for, for next year. Do you have any uh, pre-game rituals that you do before a game to get you ready? Uh, I listen to some music. Um, uh, if, if anything, I try to get into the hot tub. That way my body's extra hot when I go out there to ready to play. Um, but other than that, you know, nothing too, too serious. Well, thank you for sitting down with us today, Eric. Oh, it's my pleasure. You guys are the best. Thank you. Yes. I'm Benjamin Royer. I'm Matthew Royer. And, and this, this has been Twinger Talk. Talk.